I absolutely love tricks involving coincidence. There's something about the psychology of coincidence. Everybody can relate to it. And when you do a trick where things seem to line up in a way that is absolutely inexplicable, it always gets great reaction. So on this video in just a moment, I'm going to perform and share the secrets to a super easy to perform coincidence trick you're going to amaze your friends with. I promise you're going to love the coincidence trick. On this video, I'm also going to announce a brand new mentalism pack featuring first my number one most performed coincidence trick. This trick is so clever, it's fooled expert magicians and it's so easy, it doesn't require any slides. It's that cool. In this pack, I'm also going to be including as a free gift, a trick that lives in my wallet 365 days a year and it's going to live in yours too. Also on the video, last two things we're going to do is we're going to announce the, uh, of course, the winners from the last contest I did. So hopefully you won. And finally, I'm going to announce a brand new contest for your chance to win free magic. It's all happening now. Just before I perform for you my twice as impossible coincidence trick, please do me a favor, click the subscribe button. I know a whole bunch of you subscribers, but I also know a bunch of you watch my videos, leave lovely comments, but aren't necessarily subscribers. So please take a moment right now. I've got some cool videos coming up in the next few weeks. Click the subscribe button now. All right. What makes this trick so cool is first, it starts in kind of the perfect way with the spectator shuffling the cards, okay? You can even borrow the deck. Spectator shuffles the cards because you know your friends and family always want to shuffle the cards first, right? They do. After they shuffle the cards, you say, look, we're gonna to try to create a coincidence together. First thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go through the cards and I'm gonna remove a playing card from the pack. You slowly remove a card and you ask them, do they have any idea what the card is? Of course they don't. So I'm gonna isolate the card by taking the card and slipping it inside the card case. Just like that, super fair. That is card number one. Then the spectator shuffles the cards again, making it super fair. And after they've shuffled the cards, you spread out the cards and have them touch any card. Now, here's the important part. They can touch any card in the pack. There are no forces, no forces whatsoever, all right? You spread out the cards. They touch a card. You say, you're sure. They can change their mind. They can, take, uh, they can in fact, touch another one if they want. You then slowly remove the card and in full view, take the card they touched and add it inside the case to the first card. Then you isolate both. This is such a super fair trick. You say, do you believe in coincidence? Have you ever been thinking about someone and all of a sudden the phone rings, it's them or something straight, you bump into someone in the street and under crazy, have you ever had that? And people normally say, yes. You say, we just created a coincidence together that you're never ever gonna forget. Look, you saw me take a card out and put it inside. Then you shuffled the cards, touched any card and you saw me put that card inside there too. You open the case. The spectator can open the case if they want. The spectator can remove both cards from inside the case. The case can be examined. The cards can be examined. The glass can be examined. My glasses can... When the spectator turns over both cards, it really is an unforgettable coincidence. I told you it was going to be an especially powerful coincidence trick. And the cool thing is, is it's super easy to do. And in just a second, I'm gonna reveal all the secrets so you can amaze your friends and family with that exact same impossible trick. But first, here is the worldwide release of my new Echoes Mentalism Pack. Echoes is one of my most performed psychic tricks because it's direct, undeniable, and absolutely unforgettable. It's also wonderfully easy to do and never ever misses. The spectator cuts the pack into two halves and freely chooses a half. Then the magician and the spectator each hold their cards behind their backs and randomly turn over two cards. But a moment later when they spread their cards, the four selections are impossibly found to be a perfect match. The spectator really does have 100% free choice of any two cards. And he can even shuffle both halves of the pack. Plus, thanks to the very special gimmicks, no matter which two cards the spectator turns over, you instantly know the identity of the cards. 
and you're immediately able to turn over the matching mate cards in your half of the pack. I'm even gonna share the secrets to an extra special handling where you can actually predict which two cards the spectator will select. One of the best ways to inspire big reactions is to perform tricks involving things people really care about. And people really care about music. So in sound waves, you introduce a list of the top 100 songs from a popular music magazine. Featuring artists like The Weeknd, Justin Bieber, Drake, Selena Gomez, 21 Pilots, Megan Trainor, Fetty Wap, L. King, Post Malone, Taylor Swift, and dozens more. Then you ask someone to think of any two digit number. It can be two digits from their phone number, their street address, their birthday, any two digit number. They never write it down, they don't tell their friend, they're just thinking of it. Then you hold out the list and ask them to remember the name of the song on the list corresponding to the two digit number they freely chose. Then without any questions or fishing whatsoever, you just look them in the eyes and name the one song of a hundred they're just thinking of. And get this, with sound waves, you can immediately repeat the trick for a different person and impossibly reveal the name of a different song. And because songs are so rich and interesting, you can present sound waves in so many different ways. You're gonna love how easy Echoes is to perform, okay? You never miss, super easy, no slides required. So if you're new to magic and mentalism, this is the perfect pack for you. And it's for sound waves. I mean, like I said, this is the kind of thing I always, always carry in my wallet. That way I'm ready to astound people anytime, anywhere. But as with all my special promotions, supplies are limited. So do not wait. Click the link and order this incredible mentalism pack at the special price now. The time has come to reveal the very sweet secrets to my trick twice as impossible. Now, everything is as it seems, okay? There's no setup, totally impromptu. All you need is the card case, deck of cards. First, the spectator shuffles the cards, okay? And as soon as the spectator shuffles the cards, you take the cards back, and it looks like you just go through, remove a card, and put it in the card case. But actually, a lot more is going on. The good news, though, is it's easy, okay? First, Take the cards back. I spread through, I say I'm gonna remove a card, and the first thing I do is I look at the top card. And I don't do this, <laughs> like this. You just go through, so you start, saying so I'm gonna remove a card, you see the top card, and then you start going through, saying so I'm gonna remove a card. And the idea is it's just a quick glimpse, but you don't have to rush it, okay? Don't make it look suspicious. You take the cards back, okay, and go through the cards, and you're looking suspicious. Just pace it out, stretch out the beat, all right? So you take the cards back, it's here, then here, then here. You're just looking through. It's the first of a few kind of pauses. That's why it works so well and it never sparks suspicion. Now, the top card here is the nine of hearts. So what I'm looking for is the nine of diamonds. I want that mate card, right? So I look and I go through. And now in this case, I notice that the mate card is in fact just a few cards from the top. No biggie because I'm sort of randomly going through. I see that card, then I see that. Now I don't have to stop here. I can come down here, maybe here. I'm not sure which card. And then I come back up to the, the one I want. I take it out of the pack, okay? Holding the deck in my left hand now. And I say, do you have any idea what card it is? And I've just done the second secret thing. And that is, well, lifting this up and showing it to them. In my right hand, a lot of you are familiar with this, I push off the top card, pull it back, and get a little pinky break, a break with my pinky under the top card. The reason I do, they don't know which card it is, is so I'm gonna isolate the card and put it on top of the deck. Now what that allows me to do, I'm just gonna isolate the card in the card case. So everything is motivated by taking this here, isolate there. There's a motivation for why I'm putting it on top. Then I come over and take the card off, but in fact, I've grabbed the top two cards. This is what's great about having a little break there, okay? Is by doing this and putting it on top, when I come over and my thumb finds the same break and my fingers are at the front, it means I have perfect control of two cards, holding them as one, but it also means nobody can possibly see the two cards at the front edge, okay? Unless there's some sort of microscopic baby beetle on acid with hypervision, they're not gonna see it. And we all know about those crazy little beetle vision things. So I'm here. I've grabbed both. 
I turn my right hand over. It's to it'll feel awkward at first, but it really flows. Up, grab the card case here, and then come over. Um, make sure the front edge of the double card, as soon as it's in, then with just my thumb, I push everything flush inside. Okay, performance speed. So just do it once here. Once you see it flow, cards are shuffled. Okay, I say thank you so much. I'm saying I'm going to remove a playing card here. What am I going to remove? Let's remove, I think this is going to be the card here. But let me ask you, do you have any idea what card it is? You don't, probably. I'm going to isolate the card. I'm going to take the card, put it inside the card case, and leave card number one inside. So you see how that flows. And that's the first half of the trick, okay? Then you hand the spectator the cards, they shuffle, and here's the super cool part. In just a moment, they're gonna choose card number two, and they can literally choose any card inside the deck. But before I teach you the secrets of that, let me announce the winners here. Announce the winners. Last week, my last video, a couple of videos ago, I was giving away evidence. Now, as with all my tricks, you can go to sankeymagic.com, which incidentally, if you haven't checked out sankeymagic.com in the last month, check it out. Total revamp. New photos of me. Really exciting. Um, uh, there are new products up there. The whole layout's changed. I think it's a lot stronger, a lot more engaging. So check out the new sankeymagic.com. I hear the winners. I hope you won. Of uh, Evidence. Evidence is this very cool trick involving photographs of spoons that bend. The winners are Aaron Hepps. H-E-P-P-S, Heps. A K M I M I G U T Migut, Migut, K Migut, a David Allard, a Leon 406, Leon 406, Chris Buckley, um, Emily Cotter, John Sandoval or S Sandoval, a Vincent Scuderia, Scuder Scuderi, Vincent Scuderi, sorry, Jay's having a stroke on camera six, a Larry Lawrence, Stephen Murdoch, Martin Bush, my condolences. And someone, something called the Saw Dawn Experience, S-A-W-D-O-N, Saw Dawn Experience. You guys all won. As always, if I said your name, contact my team. Send an email to contact at sankeymagic.com. Let them know your YouTube name and your real name if they're different, your shipping address, and somebody, I don't know, some lazy son of a gun uh, in my office will send out uh, your prize to you. Evidence, congratulations on winning. Kaboom, boom, 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 boom. Skadoosh. All right. Let's go back in here. This is so cool. Okay, where were we? We had just apparently slipped one card in here, but it's actually two, and it's not any two cards, it's the two mate cards. They're in there, but it looks so good. Shuffle deck. Second part of this very cool trick is someone shuffles the cards. They shuffle, they shuffle. You take the cards back, you say, I'm gonna have you. You can spread them on the table, you can fan them out, you can slowly have them say stop whenever they want. Super fair, any card they want. Once they change their mind, it's so cool, you take the card. now. It looks like you take this second card and slip it inside the card case with the first card. But it's actually in the pack. This is a move you see, if you follow my stuff before, you know I've used this move to secretly get rid of a card, but not to switch. So excited when I came up with this idea. All right. So they touch any card, you're here, you're holding it at, the, uh, at one end with the fingers on top, thumb on the bottom. And you're replicating the exact same actions you used to put the first card inside the case. I'm here, I'm turning over, I'm grabbing. But in this case, excuse the pun, maybe the first time the case was resting flat, here you want to have it, again, the fingers help here. So there's a space between inside the case and there, okay? Because I'm going to take the card, I'm going to use the card and my fingers to push up the flap to really sell the idea that's where it's going in. But... I'm not slipping it inside the case. I'm slipping it just below, and I'm gonna use the fingertips here to make sure that when I put it in, it really lines up. You don't want it coming out here, obviously, but if I slip it underneath and against my fingertips there, it looks exactly like it's going inside. Then I push forward, and my fingers do, in fact, go inside the case as the card is left there card is you don't push it too far because the tip of this is just there like this then i turn over put this down my fingers are literally uh quote unquote too far into the case but it really sells the idea that that's where they i'm here all my focus is here i don't look there to finish you can have the spectator open it up which i would do if you're in a bar you perform two or three people have them open up the case it's crazy if they don't if it's in front of a larger group you always control the focus in a larger group right you take them out face down one by one that's card number one, that's card number two, or you do this 
and you're like this, and you go like, boom, like that. Wait, before you go, two things. First, question of the week. I want you to have a chance to win one of my brand new Spectacle Deck. Spectacle Deck just launched. It's a course on SankeyMagic.com. I want to give away 12 of them, okay? So leave a comment down below and tell me, let's just riff this totally. Okay, if aliens appeared in the sky above your house and they were in a ship that looked exactly like something and you're shocked, you, you think it's very odd. Why would the ship look like that? It could be a shoe. It could be a bowl of pudding. It could be, I don't know what, it could be a waterfall. Something weird, the ship doesn't look like the little circular ships, it looks like something else. What would it be? Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check out my new Echoes Mentalism Pack, all right? I know this promotion is gonna be extremely popular because both tricks are crazy and super easy to do. The special price is also only available for a limited time. So click the link and order yours now.